and welcome back to 2019 NASCAR preseason testing, where this week, several of the big teams went to a tire test at the home of American Auto Manufacturing, the mecca for anybody whose morning coffee comes with an octane rating. I'm of course talking about Detroit, specifically the beautiful Belle Isle Street Circuit in Michigan. Not everybody elected to go to this test, however, focusing instead on the big race at Daytona coming up in just a week's time. Everybody was slipping and sliding around the dusty concrete and asphalt track in between the unforgiving concrete walls. The unrubbered surface giving a high tire wear and tire degradation which will make for a very exciting all-star race, which this year will be a 20 lap no holds bar shootout for the win. After a long day of testing, a few drivers emerged on top. Fastest overall was the 42 of Kyle Larson. Coming off a long run at the Bullring Dirt Track at the Chili Bowl, Larson used his dirt track skills to slip and slide all the way to the top of the timesheets, cracking 92 miles an hour average speed in the concrete confines of Detroit. Larson was smiling all day in the pits and brought up the idea of putting this race on the calendar in 2020 as an official points race. NASCAR officials were quoted saying if this uh, this receives popular feedback from the drivers and fans, this will be this will be considered to be implemented for the 2020 season. As you can see, Larson did have some scrapes on the left side of his car, just tweaking it in, into the guardrails a little bit on exits here and there, but that didn't stop him from going to P1 on the board. Just a couple tenths behind Larson is Candyman Rowdy Bush, who had the best speed over a 10 lap average run. He said this track really shows off how good the Joe Gibbs chassis are this year. The fact that they can go deep into the stint and keep their tires in the sweet spot. KB's new teammate, Martin Truex Jr. did not make it to the test because he wanted to put all of his energy into winning Daytona, which he has not done yet in his career and he's hoping to do so this time. Kyle Busch was reported to be debriefing with Martin Truex Jr. over the phone afterwards. These two teammates, according to the fans on Twitter, just might be the Gibbs equivalent of Brad Keselowski and Joey Logano. Moving on now to the new AJ Foyt Racing entry, hotshot John Vining took the wheel for this test and wasted no time showing why he was selected by AJFR to be the road course ringer for their team. Although Vining made quite a few mistakes early on, getting used to these high revving, tire smoking beasts with over 700 horsepower on tap, he punched in the 8th fastest lap of testing right as the checkered flag fell. Vining was quoting as saying he really enjoys the unique challenge that a street circuit brings, but he is very excited for points paying races such as Mossport and Lime Rock that nobody else has experience at, but he does from his road racing experience before being punched up to a ride in the Premier Series of NASCAR. Matt Benedetto was another big surprise at this test, cracking the top 10 in the 95 machine, the satellite Gibbs entry. He said the new TRD equipment is working very well and cannot wait to show off his new road racing talents come the second race of the season in Sebring. Unfortunately, however, this test wasn't all sunshine and roses. Darrell Wallace Jr. put himself in some hot water as he locked up going in at the end of the back straight to the hairpin and wrecked destroying the back of his Richard Petty Motorsports machine. And as, as you know, as we said at the previous test at Daytona, they do not have a lot of money, only, only enough funding for the first few races. They went to this, they elected to go to this test to try to keep up in the development war, but actions like this are not boding well for Darrell Wallace's future or the, or the future of the team itself. Another scary moment was the 14 of Clint Boyer, whose throttle hung at the start of a qualifying simulation at the end of the pit straight. Fortunately, after this wreck that you will see here, where his throttle hangs, and he slides hard into the concrete barrier, clipping the tire barrier as well. Fortunately, his, injur his injuries were limited to some leg and ankle bruising. He remains optimistic about 2019, just a little, just a little apprehensive about turn one at Detroit now. Last year's champ was all the way down in 20th place. He started practice late after his team discovered some metal fragments in the transmission fluid. He said he just couldn't click with this racetrack. None of the corners seemed to link up for him. The car just felt awkward in the slow sections. He 
is not excited for the all-star race to come but that is in half a season's time things might change you never know the Penske organization does not come to races to lose especially the all-star where there's a million bucks on the line Chase Elliott struggled to figure out Belle Isle as well as Logano he could not avoid flat spotting the front tires in the difficult braking zones where you have to trail brake constantly both he and the other Hendrick Motorsports injury of William Byron spent a lot of time focusing on pit stops even after most of the teams had packed all of their stuff up. William Byron was having similar issues as Chase Elliott who spent all of his time out of the car with driver coach Ron Fellows to work on his road racing technique. Although he was down on the leaderboard he did not do any qualifying runs so that might be skewing the data a little bit. He only did the race runs only long distance stints so there is some optimism still near the bottom of the pack was the three car of austin dillon he was hustling the car all day long but said the engine department at childress is really hurting the car's performance we just get killed in a straight line especially by the hendrick cars he says this does not bode well for the big road courses like watkins Glen and sebring which is only the second race it's only a couple weeks away so if they want to prevent a disaster they need to get their act together and quickly well that just about wraps up the tire test at detroit coming up in just a week's time is the first official race of 2019 the daytona 150 are you excited let us know in the comments please consider a like and subscribe to help make this content possible you can follow us on Instagram for additional content if you choose to do so. After this, we've got some raw helmet cam footage of Kyle Larson's fastest lap at Detroit. As always, I'm Apex Hunter. Have a good day. Bye-bye.